Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for 30 seconds of silence. Good morning, Grizzlies. This is Ralph. Kobe with your sports news. And I'm Emily with GNN, your Grizzly News Network. Today is Wednesday, May 1st, 2019. All prom guest passes must be turned in and approved by today, May 1st. Ms. Pittman will not be here on Thursday or Friday to approve passes. All the prom guest passes must be approved by tomorrow in room 908. Thank you. Also, tickets for prom are still on sale for $75 this week. Hurry and get your tickets before the time is too late. Attention soul members, our elections for the next year's officers are coming up. Please stop by after school today to pick up a form for Ms. Hardy to run. This form is due by May 3rd. Also, there is no meeting today. See you next week. Grizzlies, the yearbooks are here. Are you ready to check out everything from back to school night to homecoming to winter wishes? We've got the best pictures of all the sports and all the events of the year. But only those students who paid to reserve their copy will be able to pick it up during distribution this Thursday. If you haven't yet, pay the banker today for your last chance to get the yearbook for $90. Starting tomorrow, the price is $100. Again, pay the banker and we will see you Thursday. During lunch, yearbooks will be distributed out of rooms 213 and 215 and sorted by your last names. The yearbook is here. Who made the cover? From back to school, to winter wishes, to football, soccer, basketball, bowling, track, swim, and baseball. Don't miss the moments we caught on camera, the laughs, the experiment, and the snow. Secure your copy today with the banker. The price is only $100. Ciao, Grizzlies. Did you see all the exciting pics from our spring break trip to London, Dublin, and Wales? Are you itching to see the world too? Guess what? We are doing another Europe trip in June 2020, and this time we are going to Italy and Greece. Explore the ancient Colosseums, indulge in traditional Italian pastas, and experience life in Athens, just as the myths describe. For more information, see Ms. Rodorosa and plan on attending our info meeting with a parent at 6 p.m. on May 15th in room 200. See you then. Now here's Kobe with our sports news. Thank you, Ralph. If you want to play sports in the 2019-2020 school year, it is highly recommended that you attend the C3 Logic X 
It's pack at night next Monday, May 6, 2019, from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. Each sport has a specific time to come, so talk to your coach or check out the SVHS athletic page on the school website for individual times. Packets are $30 and include the con concussion testing. Do not wait until the beginning of your season to take care of this responsibility. This is the first step needed and completed and is very important. Congratulations to the athletes who participated in the last weekend's Frosh Sof Championships. Aja Mela Powell placed first in the 100 meter and second in the 200 meter. Miriam Kua placed fourth in the 1600 meter and third in the 300 meter hurdles and was a part of the third place team for the women's 4x800 meter race. The relay team consisted of Helen M., Miriam Kuo, Madeline Bennett, and Nikita Rustard. Congratulations again to the Frost Sof Placers. This week in sports. Ba baseball plays today against home, varsity at home, and JV's away. Both starts at 3.30. Softball plays today against Bishop Gorman. Varsity plays at home, and JV's away. Both teams play at 3.30. Today's senior night, f tomorrow is senior night for all baseball and softball players. On Thursday, baseball plays against Slam at 3.30. On Thursday, volleyball plays against Silverado at home. B team and JV start at 5 and varsity at 6. Come out and support your, athlete, your Grizzly athletes. Now here's Emily with more, some more news around campus. Thank you, Kobe. Attention seniors, Senior Award Night is tonight, starting at 6.30 in the theater. Please plan to meet with Ms. Duvall on this Thursday, May 2nd at 12.45 in regards to your graduation speech. This is mandatory. Students who have signed up to take the AP exam, which start Monday, May 6th, must have their final payments into the banker by the end of this week. If your final payment has, been made, has not been made, you will not be able to take your test. See your counselor for additional guidance. Wait, 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 seniors. There's only a few spots left for Disney grad night. Make sure to pay the banker and get a seat on the bus. See Ms. Rivera for more information. Attention seniors attending grad night. There is a mandatory senior grad night meeting next Tuesday, May 7th from 1.15 to 2.15 in room 202. Please attend this meeting so you can see all the information related to grad night. If you cannot attend the meeting, please see Ms. Rivera or Ms. Verderosa. <coughs> Students interested in running for a student body, student body president position or class officer position need to attend an election meeting held in Ms. Rivera's room for on this Wednesday or Thursday after school at 1.30 p.m. Please see Ms. Rivera if you have any questions. Now here's Ralph with our weather. So welcome back. Today's going to be mostly sunny, but earlier in the evening, what we've seen is that cloud coverage is rising. So most likely it's going to be intermediate clouds for the beginning of our day and throughout the school day. Actually, that sun is only coming in towards the later in the afternoon. But for today, high of 77, low of 57. Nice intermediate wind. Southwest winds at 14 miles per hour. It's going to be a 21% humidity with a 23% chance of precipitation. It's going to be windy as well. Not quite like a lot of wind, but just a little bit of wind. But tomorrow's going to be a nice sunny day, high of 84, low of 62 degrees with east winds at 7 miles per hour. Also, today is May the 1st, and also it's a spring assembly, so it's going to be on assembly schedule, just in case you haven't noticed that yet. But also, today is May Day. It's the 1st of May, which basically marks the beginning of summer. And as we see, the temperatures have kind of dipped a little bit, but they're expected to rise as we get later on into the school year, towards the end of the school year. This is Ralph with your weather. Now back to you at the desk. Thank you, Ralph. This was Emily, Kobe, and Ralph of GNN Your Grizzly News Network. Have, Have a, a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday, Wednesday Grizzlies. Grizzlies.